Hello and welcome back to Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode with Nimu Rainswept, the human axeman who was given a quest to seek out and kill a vampire that was hiding in a town. And uh, we succeeded in the quest. Uh, we're not quite sure who killed him because he was just accosted by several peasants. But, um,. Yeah, somebody got the killing blow, I guess. I'm gonna just assume that that was me, because, you know, I'm awesome. And uh, immediately after his death, we licked our great iron axe clean of his vampire blood. And we should very quickly become a vampire. And we're gonna be a bit more sensible about it this time. We're not going to uh, feed on people unless they are enemies. And we're going to try and find our next target here, which is a vile hag. Or a vile hag spouse, actually. So there should be a whole family. So I'm seeing no layers around here. Where is it? He said it was half a day's travel. I'm fairly certain of that. So I guess one of those animals there. Don't bother the wildlife. Leave it. Uh, honestly. Right. So where is this lair then? It must be the other side of this town. I guess, yeah, I suppose that is half a day's travel. That's it over there, I see it. Uh, I'm going to gonna have to go back over to this bridge though. Unless I want to go swimming. I mean, you know, I've got the swimming skill. But uh, I'm not... can't speak for the guys who are following me. Right. Uh, no, it's nearly night time. Attacking a night creature at night time? No, let's not do that. Are there houses here? Please? Yes. So let's see if we can sleep here. Well, actually, well, I'm not sure if I need to sleep, being a vampire, but we can at least wait here. May I have permission to sleep in your house? Certainly. Yeah, I mean... Ugh. You have to ask, but they'll never say no. Sleep until dawn. And uh, I should see bloodlust very soon. No? I'm not entirely convinced that I'm a vampire yet. We still have plenty of blood on our weapons, though. Just lick it off our greaves and off our helmet. Alright. It'll happen, eventually. If not, then I guess I'll have to go back to the house where we killed him and just start licking the floor or something. But, um... Where is this layer? Whoop, there it is, nearly went past it. Okay, let's kill this vile hack spouse. Uh, yeah, pretty good, um... Pretty good track record so far, kill the vampire. In fact, it probably says that I have no kills, actually. Yeah, I can't even select it. But, I'm taking credit. Screw you. Right, uh, shit. I've probably gone past that. Yeah, they're a bit tricky to find, these layers. Alright, so I think it's down here, is it? No? North, north, east. It's probably... here. Is this it? I think it's under this mound. Is that a door? Nope. It's got to be here somewhere. Why? Why do you make these things so hard to find? East. East, north, east. Is it... Here? West? Ah, here it is. I see it. Random little tunnel, and uh, let's, whoops, that means a lie on the ground. I meant to sneak. There we go. So what have we got in here? We've got copper meat cleaver, uh, copper carving fork in a pile of vomit, lead cage, some objects, beetle remains, ew. Uh, uh, what is that? Human meat in a spattering of ichor. or... What is that? Sandstone mortar. Oh, I thought maybe it was a... a ring or something. Galka Oriwam's skull. Okay. 
We've got some cauldrons, beetle paste. You can indeed eat that, I think. Uh, some water. Alright, let's delve further inside. Oh, here we go. I am Donu, prepare to die. To the point. I am Lithem, the shadows of Merc, prepare to die. Alright, where are they? I can't even see them. So yeah, that just triggers when you get... Ooh, elf meat. <laughs> uh, yeah, no human parts. Jewelry, which is unfortunate. Birch and arrows. Oh yeah, they've been killing some elves. Here we go. Right, there's a whole family in here, isn't there? I am Lat Dust Shadow, the Shady Oblivion of Tunnels. So you got a fancy name, so... Alright, we've been spotted. Oh shit. I just stepped right the fuck in front of them. Run away. Uh, let's have a look at it. There is the vile hag herself. With a copper boning knife, that's not good. A large three-eyed humanoid. It has a long straight horn and it lumbers along steadily from place to place. Its grey skin is wrinkled. Now you'll know why you fear the knife. She is very weak. Well, okay. Let's uh, see what we can do here. We've got an opportunity strike at the right lower arm. If we hack it, so we attack the vile hag, but she jumps away. Well, that wasn't a very... Uh... Oh, dear. So she just jumped away and then kicked the axeman in the upper body, jamming his ribs through his kidney. Good lord. Right, so let's try and hack off this right foot. Oh, jumped away. It seems like they're pretty good at dodging here. This is not good. And just grabbed my axeman by the toe. So I'm going to strike at the upper body there. Easy strike, direct hit. If we strike them with our pommel, that's not going to do a hell of a lot of damage. Uh, which one's that? A left lower arm? If we punch it with our left hand, I think I'll go with the other one, though. <laughs> there we go. Bruise the muscle. whoop de do. So, what else can we do? We've got another opportunity strike here. If we kick him in the upper body, I'll go for that. We missed. Alright, let's uh, charge... I'm going to say charge. I'm an Axeman. Current dodge preference. Um, yeah, move around. Current charge defense. Uh, dodge away always, please. It's always worth changing those things. Right, what have I got here? Left upper leg. I'll try and hack that off. There we go. We charge the vile hag from behind. And you hack the file hag in the left upper leg, and the severed part sails off in an arc. Fantastic. So I don't know if they bleed to death, but um, yeah, we got a lot of easy strikes here. So, center eye. Yeah, they got three eyes. Let's, uh, let's blind them, just for the fun of it. Let's uh, hit them in the eye, and... I hit the vile hag in the head from behind, aiming for the eye, and I fractured the skull. Well, uh, okay, and then I counter-striked, and my axe is now lodged in their left arm. I'm going to have to move away to get that back. And while I've got this space, I'm going to throw the silver boning knife at them. And that hit it in the upper body, tearing the muscle and tearing the right lung, so that's pretty useful. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear that they need to breathe. Uh, okay, uh, I just got a kill by a counter-strike. So yeah, she tried to hit me and then I hacked her in the lower body and just basically sliced her in half. So that's cool. That's very cool. So what is happening with my Axeman here? Notice how all that's happened while my uh, two pikemen are still kind of over there in the corner. They don't actually seem to know what's going on. 
So he's in extreme pain and he's on the ground. Uh, his liver's fucked. That probably should be a mortal wound, but let's um, let's hope that it's not. Easiest strike. Left lower arm. Hack it, please. There we go. There's the left lower arm gone. Or oh, left upper arm, sorry. And... Yeah, hopefully they'll leave my pikeman alone now. Or axeman, sorry. So, upper body. Give it a hack. And we've torn apart the muscle and shattered left ribs. Yeah, and torn a tendon in the ribs, but... Yeah, whatever. You don't need those. Let's try... We've already had their left arm off. Let's have their right arm off. There we go. That particular vile hag, uh, Lethem Obi Meli, uh, now has no arms. So... Whoops. No, I don't want to attack my axeman. Dear God. So, Donu, we shall have a go at you now. Let's just go for your lower body and give you a kick. I have missed. So yeah, I mean, they don't seem to be doing too much damage to the Axemen, they're just kind of pummeling them a little bit. Which is uh, unfortunate. Seems like our pikemen are attempting to get into the fight, but everything is just happening extremely quickly. Uh, easy strike. Fairly solid on the right foot. So... Let's try and hack that off. There we go. We've hacked off a foot. Oh! The vile hag shakes the axeman around by the right ear and the severed part sails off in an arc. Well, it doesn't actually. It stays in the, in the mouth, which is just ew. Okay, so, um... See, it's not really telling me which one's doing that. If I could get the one... I'm guessing that because it's biting, it's the one that I... Uh, <laughs> slashed the arms off so now we've sliced off their right leg so they're now sans arms and only one leg and <laughs> using their remaining leg they have tried to lock the axeman's right elbow ah our pikeman has joined the fight excellent it's about bloody time so let's go for this difficult strike on the head because we have the initiative. Let me miss. Okay, and managed to strike at me. Oh, there we go. Left them. Obi, Meli, Vile Hag has bled to death. So they need blood. And uh, the Vile Hag that's still alive has spat out my Axeman's ear, which is nice. Maybe we'll stitch it back on. I don't know. So let's try and hack their arm off. We're just. Torn apart the muscle and severed many nerves. Um, I'll just keep hacking with my axe. She scrambles away. No, don't scramble away. Where am I? Right, I am there. I'm on the ground. I didn't realize that. Oh well. <laughs> the fight's gone pretty well, considering. Uh, difficult strike. If I pull it off, it'll be a square strike. And I missed. So yeah, there's somebody like standing on my back basically, which is why I can't stand up right now. But yeah, I thought once I'd been discovered, oh there we go, I've had a left lower arm off now. The Axeman gives into the pain, oh don't do that, really don't do that. Alright, let's try and cut this one in half as well. Oh yes, you hack the vile, vile hag in the lower body with your iron battle axe and the severed part sails off in an arc. Fucking yes. So, uh, now we have two kills. It doesn't call them notable kills, which I find a little bit suspicious. Oh, shit. Right, there's, uh, that's the vile hag spouse that we were actually sent here to kill, I think. Yeah. So, can I stand up now? Yes, I can. Where the hell am I? Right, so I'm back here. Let's get this then. Oh, my word. Vile Hag, Vile Hag Spouse. Okay, okay, there's quite a few of them. So we've got the Vile Hag Spouse there, that's who we were sent to kill. And then there's another two of them there. Okay. Alright, they're on the same tile. It's a bit awkward. 
So, what have I got here? I got an opportunity strike on the. No, was it? Was it the head? If I kick with my left foot, I'll go for it then. Uh, we bruised the skull. Probably wasn't worth it. I probably should have gone for something a bit simpler. Uh, right lower arm. Shattering the bone. And touring, touring tendons, yeah. What is that there? That's an eye. Oh, I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, I shall attempt to cut off your leg, because it's always good fun. I charged and missed, collided, and we tangled together and tumbled forward. So where am I now? I have moved. Right, I am way deep in the dungeon here. So what's this here? Leopard leather armor? That's not my armor, is it? It's just kind of... <laughs> flown off, because I'm sure I was wearing a leopard leather armour. I am, yes, but nope, it is a different leopard leather armour. Fair enough. Aim at the lower body and hack it. Tearing apart the muscle. Nice. Yeah, don't have any good shots there, really. I'll just try and uh, slap them in the head with my battle axe. Oh, here we go. I am real stud drop cloistered. Yeah, that is that is the vile hag spouse that was married to um, the vampire's wife. So yeah, I've killed your uh, ex's current husband. Oh, here we go. They finally announced themselves. Oh shit! So uh, just punch me in the upper leg with the left hand, bruising the muscle through the iron greaves. Well, that's all right. Am I stunned currently? I am, yes. Which means I can't stand up because somebody's in the way. Oh fuck! Uh, I rolled away, blocked, and yeah, just a lot of missed attacks there. Oh, she kicked me in the lower body and bruised my muscle and bruised my guts, and then oh dear, the vile hag bites you in the lower body, bruising the fat, bruising the right kidney, and she's latched on firmly. This is a big problem. Because, yeah, you can't easily break those kind of grips. So what I'm going to have to do is just move away. And, uh, wait, what? <laughs> okay. Oh dear. The vile hag shakes you around by the lower body, tearing apart the lower body's fat. So yeah, I'm bleeding, but that's... Right, where am I? Ah, I'm there, so I need to move this way. You are unable to break the grip of the vile hag's mouth on your lower body. So yeah, this is a real problem. Uh, they've just basically got in two... Uh, bites there and they're just kind of shaking me around and they you know it's really horrible when that happens because they will eventually just tear out your organs and stuff so who is there real stud something or that so let's try and attack them and hope that we can kill them really really quickly can I aim at their mouth I can but it's an impossible strike uh, well, I got three opportunity strikes here. Is it this one? Left upper arm. If I strike it with my iron shield. Uh, left hand. Is it? If I scratch it and my uh, left upper leg. If I bite it. Well, I don't want to do any of those things really, but I guess I'll I'll go with this because it'll do something. So they struck at me twice, but I blocked them, and I managed to bruise the bone by hitting them in the arm, which really isn't going to do a lot, but okay. Uh, opportunity strike on the head. Easy strike, direct hit if we slap them with the flat edge of our battle axe. And we've bruised the muscle and shattered the skull. Fucking hey, Right. So are they still, I don't know if they still have like a grip on me, but I don't know. It seems like they've stopped shaking me around by the teeth, so 
Okay, let's... Uh, we've got another opportunity strike on the head. If we bite it, I don't think we want to do that. Let's uh, try and hack at the lower body. Yes! We hack the lower body from behind and the severed part sails off in an arc. And they have been struck down and they really are not attacking me anymore, so... Right, let's get this vile hag. There's so many of them, I've never seen so many of them in one layer before. And uh, I've hacked the right upper leg, torn the muscle, and the motor nerve has been severed. So you're on the ground now. And I uh, managed to counter strike again, and torn open their right lower leg. And uh, we've opened an artery, which is good, because we know we can bleed them to death. Uh, what have I got here? Let's cut off their left foot. Oh, we only shattered the bone, but we did open another artery. Come on. Right. Horn? Can we... I really want to... No, I don't want to scratch their horn. But I would like to cut off their horn. I think that would be pretty cool. There we go, tearing apart the right lung. As far as I can tell, they don't need to breathe, so... Let's, um... That's not particularly useful. Because, yeah, it doesn't say they're struggling to breathe or anything, so... Shattering ribs, tearing apart muzzle, all good stuff. So far, it seems like these guys are really only weak to having their entire lower body severed. That seems to be uh, how I've been killing these guys. Wait, which one is that? Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Slash at their right lower leg and shattered the bone, opened another artery. Wait, what was that? The pikeman loses hold of the copper pike. Oh dear. You best get that back, because uh, you're not going to do too well without that. There we go. Yeah, I seem to be... Is it this one I'm attacking? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it just seems to be shattering bones at the moment. I don't seem to be able to get any penetration. Right lower arm. Let's kick him in the arm. Shattering the bone. Okay, we need a killing blow here. Let's just start hacking them to pieces. But yeah, seriously, that would normally... Uh, I should probably stand up as well. That would pro normally send the limb flying off, but... Didn't really do anything there, just shattered some bone. Shattered some more bone. They're basically just a bag of bits of bone at the moment. There we go, torn apart the guts. My pikeman regains consciousness. That's a very good idea. That's a good plan. Be conscious. Experience consciousness. So uh, let's kick him in the leg. Bruising the bone. The vile hag has become enraged and then bled to death <laughs> well okay so there's another one here I think this is the last one well you hope to god this is the last one yeah yeah I'm Ithel Flower Myth you're the one I'm supposed to kill so we slashed it in the upper body and torn apart the left lung what is that that's opportunity strike somewhere where is that find it kind of hard to follow the lines across. Was it this one? This one? Ah, here we go. Let's just punch him in the arm. Dead arm. Good lord, this is just a epic battle right now. It's pretty tense. Well, it's not really. I mean, we're absolutely annihilating them, but... You know, at least a couple of my guys have got some injuries. This guy is in extreme pain, he's stunned and he's on the ground and uh, his right arm is pretty messed up from the shoulder down to the hand his left arm's pretty messed up as well really and uh, I think he's got a sprained ankle we'll get some heat spray on it in a minute, it's alright we'll just uh, fracture the skull now Oh, I seem to have lost my axe. Where's my axe? Shit. Iron battle axe. Right, okay. Um, 
Where am I? Oh, it's under there. I'll just move there. There we go. We got it back. It's all good. Okay, let's go from the lower body there. It's tricky, but I want to see if I can... Oh, yes! <laughs> Three in a row, man! I just hacked it in the lower body, and the severed part sails off in an arc, and they've been struck down. That's pretty goddamn uh, impressive there. So yeah, five kills, all vile hags. Right. Is everybody alive? Squad. Three followers. Or is it four? No, it's three. That's fine. That's how many I had. So, um... Yeah, these are just, uh... These are just mutilated corpses now, aren't they? Uh, that's a gold coin. Yeah. Cedar bucket. And a lower body. Yes. Oh, that's brilliant. Leopard leather armor. Copper carving knife. Yeah, I still haven't found a breastplate. That's um, that's going to be a big issue at some point. So um, I don't. I still don't know if I'm a vampire. I really don't. Like I'm not seeing. Like normally you give a you get a little symbol down here somewhere. No, don't give into pain. Get up. We got some adventuring to do, but um, yeah. I guess I'll find out when... Well, I don't actually need to eat or drink here. I'm not hungry or thirsty, so... I'm guessing that uh, I am actually a vampire, but... Anyway, let's return to civilization. Report our success. Our several successes. I mean, we're going to be able to go to a fort and basically recruit an army here, because we just killed shitloads of people. I mean, let's have a look, exactly. Yep, six separate uh, vile hags. I killed five of them personally, so I'm pretty badass right now. Greetings, farmer. You are the perfect person to report success to. You weren't just the first person I saw. This is fantastic. So many. The world is surely a safer place now. Yes, it is indeed. You are a hero and should aspire to great deeds. Grass grape growls as far to the east. Udal practiced pillar speaks for the Empire of Crystals and may have a task for you. So we're already at the point where only uh, nobles are going to give us quests. Oh yeah, we're pretty badass. So uh, goodbye then. I'll see you around, human peasant. Right, so I have to still pretend that I'm a human. Okay, we lost a couple of guys. <laughs> uh, oops. Yeah, I think they kind of bled to death. Well, it's a weird town, this. There's just, like, huge holes everywhere. And yeah, when I was wandering around earlier looking for that vampire, I found a river that just had an enormous canyon. Like, the river was like 10 Z levels deep. It's pretty crazy. So, uh, I think we're going to hire some new guys, if I can find some around here. There's a spearman. I'll have you. Excitement, adventure, and horrible death, and murder, and mayhem, and bleeding to death, because I forget about you. Please join me, Axeman. Surely any place is better than this. He just says that right next to them, like, Oh, this place is a shithole, I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah, I agree. Look at this place. Alright, there's another one here. Is that... That's a vampire, is it? I don't know. It appears to be a lasher. But, um... They're flashing, like... They must be a legendary lasher. Bronze whip, bronze shield, copper breastplate, copper, cl copper helm. I don't know, man. This guy looks insane. That's a girl. Uh, she's very muscular, her hair is extremely long, her head is somewhat short, her hair is white, with a touch of grey. Her skin is pale top, her eyes are aqua. I don't know, I, uh, I'm going to talk to them, but... Um, my name is Nemu Rainswept, the momentous tribute of hoisting. Well, there's my given name now. We've been given a legendary name. 
The momentous tribute of hoisting. Alright. And this person is a real inspire empire. Let's uh, ask them about their family, I guess. A cousin who was murdered by an elf in 63. Oh, here we go. Beckett was abducted from Snuggle Fatal <laughs> by Doto Style Stroke. I wonder if we'll ever be able to find them. Oh, an uncle named Lunda. So yeah, that's. I'm trying to see like if they're just abnormally old or something, but then everybody is in this game. Right, they're not a night creature. They're just like a legendary lasher. Okay, well we got a legendary lasher in our squad. Cause yeah, that's what that flashing means. If somebody's flashing, it means they're legendary or something. So I wonder what their history is. Shall we ask them about it? Where are they? Lasher. Tell me about your profession. I've wandered the wilds for 65 of my years. It is I that felled Athrab Quest Hood the Human. <coughs> I wandered the wilds. Okay, well, I guess they, um. They just killed one person. Oh, there we go. I have taken down nine jaguars while stalking the ever seeing forests. Anything else? Nope, just nine jaguars and a human. For 65 years, though, that's pretty impressive. Big family as well. Squeeze strokers. <laughs> Not squeeze strokers. Uh, clenched jail. Okay, well, anyway. We have a band of merry men and women. And in the next episode, we'll be off to see the noble. The Noble Wizard of Oz. No, we'll be off to see the Noble to get more quests. And hopefully they send us after something utterly ridiculous like a dragon or something. There are dragons in this world for us to fight. I have checked. So yeah, I'll see you next time.